welcome everyone so we'll study about chapter 8 today circulatory system is an organ system that help to transport substances inside our body it consists of three parts heart blood and a network of blood vessels so let us talk about heart heart the main organ of circulatory system is a muscular organ that pumps blood to all the parts of the body it also receives blood from all the organs of the body and then it purifies it and transfers the oxygen rich blood to the different parts of the body through the different color vessels present inside our body the red color blood vessels and the blue color blood vessels the red color blood vessels carry the oxygen rich blood and the blue color blood vessels carry the deoxygenated blood children you might be knowing that a doctor uses a stethoscope to listen to your heart beat and how many times a heart beat in resting position of a normal person 72 times and it can be 180 per minute for a athlete now talking about blood vessels blood vessels are thin tube like structures that run through the entire body to transport blood there are three types of blood vessels arteries veins and capillaries arteries transport blood from the heart to the various organs of the body through the arteries oxygen rich blood flows or we can say the pure blood from the heart to all the body organs when we talk about veins veins bring back back the blood from different organs of the body to the heart so through veins only deoxygenated blood flows or we can say the blood not having oxygen or in other words the impure blood veins are blue in color the third type of blood vessels are capillaries arteries branch out into smaller and thinner blood vessels called arterioles these further branch into even smaller blood vessels called capillaries capillaries are the smallest blood vessels now have a look at this diagram you can see the red color ones are the artery which is branching into arterioles then the blue color blood vessels are the veins which is branching into venules and in between you can see the capillaries which are the very fine blood vessels capillaries helps in the exchange of gases water and nutrients between the blood and the tissue so what is blood blood is a red color fluid that flows through the blood vessels from the heart to all the parts of the body and then back to the heart what is the function of blood it transport nutrients absorbed from food oxygen carbon dioxide water and other waste product inside the body this term and today we are going to study about excretory system and how does it work so let's start our topic so children in our body every cell is performing continuously so many activities and while doing so they produce a lot of waste so the process of removal of waste products which are formed in the body is very important otherwise it can accumulate in the body and it can harm us so this process of removing waste from the body is called excretion so this is the definition of excretion now children when we talk about excretory organs so these are the organs which are involved in removing the waste from our body so organs like lungs kidneys ureters urinary bladder urethra and skin are some of the excretory organs of our body and they are called excretory organs so when we talk about excretory organ 
the first excretory organ is kidneys then we have ureter then is bladder and urethra which is actually forming your urinary system but along with them we also have lungs and skin which helps in removing the waste from our body so now let us come to the definition of excretory system so it is an organ system that helps in getting rid rid of waste from inside our body okay so this system is known as excretory system so let us start with the first excretory organ that is the skin so children you would be surprised to know that skin has sweat glands okay and which release excess waste and water and salt in the form of sweat okay everybody of you know about sweat coming to the next orgy excretory organ that is lungs so when we breathe in we take in oxygen and carbon dioxide is released from the body okay that is done through lungs coming to the urinary system which is our main topic for today so urinary system is the main excretory system of our body that remove waste in the form of urine kidneys ureters urinary bladder and urethra are the parts or organs of this system now you can have a look at the diagram of urinary system it has a pair of kidneys two ureters bladder and urethra now let us first talk about the kidneys so kidneys are the main organ of the urinary system they are a pair of bean shaped organ if you can see the uh, shape okay they are bean shaped structure and they filter the blood and pass the waste products through ureters in the form of urine so their main function is to filter the blood just have a closer look at the kidneys children now the next organ of urinary system is ureters they are the muscular tubes that connect kidneys to the urinary bladder and they carry urine from the kidneys to the urinary bladder so they are actually carrying the urine coming to the urinary bladder it is a muscular organ that collects urine from the kidneys before it passes out of the body okay so it is a organ where urine is stored and it is an elastic organ just have a look at the urinary bladder it is a organ where yellow color urine is filled and urine gets removed from the body with the help of urethra the last organ of the urinary system now let us recapitulate what we have studied today with the help of a diagram so we have studied about excretory system which consists of a pair of kidneys the main function of the kidneys is to filter the blood and remove the waste material from the blood these waste materials are then stored in the urinary bladder with the help of ureter ureters take the urine or the liquid waste from the kidneys to the bladder which gets stored in the bladder and finally the urine gets removed from the body with the help of urethra so children i hope the topic is clear to you so keep learning and enjoy